Hey guys, I am back with another review. Um, this is specifically the Odell Smoothing Shampoo and Odell Volumizing Conditioner. Now the sh um, smoothing shampoo is to help with obviously the smoothing part. So it's basically the extra moisture frizz control plus shine. And then the volumizing conditioner is um help with the volumizing around the roots of the hair like near the scalp and it's not supposed to weigh it down um and still have the moisture shine and what volume comes to fullness and now both of them don't have sulfate and it's 100 percent uh natural fragrance so starting off with the shampoo i'll switch turn it around um it does mention that um different types of hairs and I will assume that the ones that are filled in are what it's okay for and it's not okay to use on a fine and coily hair um just to let you guys know that my hair is on the fine side and it's color treated um majority of my hair for the most part is like um straight with a little bit of waviness in there and just to let you guys know that um, it is not necessary that your hair is completely one type of hair. There may be strands here and there that might be different type. Um, it also mentions that it has no sulfates, formal dehydes, uh, petalates, parabens, dyes, synthetic fragrances, and it's vegan, not tested on animals, and dermatologist tested. Um, keeping in mind that it is not dermatologist um tested does not mean dermatologist recommended it just says that dermatologists did test it however they did not provide the results of those tests and it's color safe now for the most part like the sulfates and everything is the same now the only difference here is that over here it says that it's not recommended for coarse curly or um coily hair whereas this is okay for fine hair um other than that for the most part everything else is the same um now i do want to mention that um my hair is thin fine color treated um and scalp is towards the dry side i wouldn't say it's oily by any chance um i do wash my hair every two days um and i normally shampoo my hair once in the shower i do apply oil to my scalp and hair um before i wash my hair and then there are certain oils that you can put after um washing your hair like the morgan oil or leave-in conditioners so i normally alternate i don't apply both because again my hair is fine and when your hair is fine you cannot load your hair with products it's minimal the better but i still had to put some kind of products on my hair um because it is on the drier end and especially since it is color treated uh it is best to apply you know moisturizing products and everything on my hair as long as it doesn't weigh it down or um um how do i say it? um or there's any or or don't cause it build up quickly um so that's basically how my hair is honestly at this point like minimal products but try to keep it try to have those kind of products that helps my hair in the long run honestly um honestly i can't use no products after showering on my hair because my hair just gonna look messy um anyways um that being said um now if I use the sh if I shampoo my hair twice because that has happened before and I did mention in my in one of my videos not too long ago that if I shampoo my hair twice and which I did earlier this year my scalp got oilier quickly and um I end up having to wash my hair every other day instead of every two days and if I continue to do every two days my hair would like I said mentioned get oily it will start. I will end up getting itchy and um if I don't wash my hair after one day then on the second day I would see hair loss and then when I'm in the shower um more hair fall comes out than normal normally it would in the shower um so I try to avoid 
shampoo shampooing my hair twice in one shower however with odell if i were to i mean the specifically the shampoo so if i were to put oil on my hair prior to shampooing conditioning my hair it doesn't matter if it's overnight or two hours 30 minutes or whatever um it's still the same thing when it comes to the odell um smoothing shampoo is that it I have to wash my hair twice. Um, normally, for the most part, I uh, whenever I oil my hair, I only need to shampoo it once, um, and it works pretty well for me. Honestly, for some people out there, it may not help by shampooing only once and have to shampoo twice. But again, everybody's hair is different. Now, because I have to end up shampooing twice, um, I feel like it not worth it because it ends up feeling like I never applied oil on my hair honestly um and even if I shampoo my hair once I feel like my hair feels greasy but dry at the same time like it feels more straw with just applying oils um to the ends but I didn't use the proper oil. I just feel like it, it was just coat on it. Um, and you can tell like um, there's a buildup on my hair while looking really strong. So honestly, there's no win-win situation or win-lose situation regarding how many times I would shampoo my hair because of the oiliness, honestly, which does not help. And because, um, before I mention that part, um, even if I don't oil my hair, I feel like I shampoo it once and it still kind of makes my hair feel a little dry. And um, because of that, honestly, whenever I apply the Odell Volumizing Conditioner, it does not help with the moisture at the ends because normally my ears below that feels really dry and strawy. So um, for the uh, conditioner, it does mention at the back for the directions to apply it and wash it and you're done. Um, but normally, a lot of the conditioners do, do mention and, uh, for the directions to apply for like a minute or two, mostly two minutes. So I kept it with that as well for this because again, like the shampoo is already making my hair dry and oil is not helping because of the shampoo itself. Um, or any other hair mask I normally would apply. So... Um, I would end up leaving it for two minutes and it still does not help at all. And there has been times that I left my hair to dry just to see how it feels. And it still feels pretty dry. So I do end up having to put in hair oils that you normally apply after shower and will not add or leave in conditioner again. I can't apply both on my hair at the same time. So it's either the hair oil, like Moroccan oil, or um, I would have to apply leave in conditioner. Uh, to help with the moisture of the hair. So I actually feel like that the Odell Volumizing Conditioner, I would have to apply with a different shampoo altogether just to see how the sh conditioner itself works on my hair. Um, but other than that, honestly speaking, the way that my hair feels does not help. So I generally would avoid using this product, honestly. I actually have read a lot of good comments about this. So um, I would suggest to try out, try it out regardless because, um, again, like I said, if, like comments, uh, I've read a lot of good reviews. However, everybody's hair is different and it just so happens that it did not work for me specifically. Um, now, um, for the... Um, shampoo so like i mentioned that my hair is more of like straight and wavy ish and then it's fine as well so i had a 50 50 chance honestly because um in this scenario so just keep that in mind and especially since it did not mention oiliness so i don't know how accurate this would be when it comes to who this hair is recommended for honestly um so since and um, to re reiterate about the conditioner, uh, Adele conditioner, is that I want to use it because, um, again, because, um, it was mainly the shampoo in this case that was ex already extremely drying my hair out. 
And I feel like because of that, the conditioner couldn't do its potential, maybe, or I couldn't see um, the results that I would like from the conditioner because the shampoo just overpowered its results. So I may possibly use the conditioner with another shampoo, but I also have a feeling that if the conditioner didn't at least do a little bit of moisturizing part, um, or the shine at least, like I mentioned, um, I feel like it still may not work. The only good thing about the conditioner paired with this shampoo specifically is the volume part. That the first day I did see a decent volume, then the day of the shower that I washed the hair. The next day, the volume kind of went away and then the day after that, the volume was gone and I'm back to washing my hair again after that. So honestly, overall, I feel like I don't want to buy either or, uh, either or, um, even though I'm kind of like 50, 50 about the conditioner itself, if I should buy it and try with another con shampoo, but the shampoo is definitely a no, no for me. Other than that, I will be linking both my Instagram pages down below. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button. I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned.